how to believe in your manifestation. 10 steps to a new belief system. Here are the 10 steps to reprogram your subconscious mind so that you can adopt a new belief system. And I became a much better person during this process. And I'm going to share my powerful story with you about how I became a completely different person after changing my belief system. I'm also going to share the exact steps that you can take to become a new, more successful version of yourself. Today you will discover how to change your belief system, get the science-based proof that this actually works and you will receive my exact 10-step process for transforming your belief system and your life. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy and I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. So let me ask you a question, are you fed up of repeating the same complaints to your friends and family when you talk about yourself? Are you constantly putting yourself down? Are you feeling like you don't have what it takes to be successful? So let me know what you're struggling with by leaving me a comment on my blog, YouTube channel, or send me a DM on Instagram. So let's change your struggles into solutions right now. Do you want to become a more naturally successful person? Do you want to develop a much more positive, easygoing attitude? Do you want to be the person that you need to be to get the results that you want to have? So let me share my concept with you, which is called brain stamps. So brain stamps are my unique method of reprogramming your subconscious mind so that you can adopt a brand new belief system. So affirmations are a proven way to help you rewire your brain. And there is a specific type of affirmations called I am affirmations that work much faster than any other type of affirmation. Because when you use the words I am, you are literally affirming who you are and your brain has no choice but to believe these words. And the universe will actually rearrange itself to make sure that your reality lines up with what you believe about yourself. Brain stamps focus on using I am affirmations to reprogram your brain as these are the most powerful types of affirmations. And I call them brain stamps because they literally stamp your brain with success. In other words, your brain forms new neural pathways. So you do end up behaving in a completely different, more positive way. And another reason that I use the word stamp is because I coined the term stamp goals and I wrote a book on the subject and I created a new framework for goal setting specifically to help entrepreneurs to put their stamp on the world. So my community is also called Stampers and I help entrepreneurs who are focusing on putting their stamp on the world. So in a nutshell, I help Stampers to stamp their brain with success using brain stamps. I hope that's uh, making sense to you. So you might think that all this sounds a bit woo-woo, but there is actually scientific proof behind it. The results of a study by Falk and colleagues suggested that when we choose to practice positive affirmations, neural pathways change when people practice self affirmation tasks. So there are new neural pathways that are formed in the brain when you are thinking more positively about yourself and talking more positively about yourself. And that means that people were able to view information that came at them in life and they used to find it threatening, but now they see it in a completely different light and they find it relevant and valuable. So it completely changed their outlook on life. So here is how to reprogram your subconscious mind with a new belief system. So here are the steps that you can take to reprogram your subconscious mind so you can become the person who has a new belief system. So let's go through these steps now. 
Number one, what do you currently believe? This is the first step in the process, is to acknowledge what you currently believe. This helps you to work out what you do not want to believe. So for example, do you believe that you are not good enough to earn a lot of money or reach a lot of people with your content? Number two, what would you like to believe? So let's turn this negative belief on its head. What would you like to believe instead? For example, I am worthy of success. I am fully able to help people transform their lives. I am a successful business owner. Number three, visualize your new belief. Sit with this new belief for a minute or so. Close your eyes and picture your life if this belief system were true. Where would you be living? What would you be doing? Who would you be with? What does this new kind of belief enable you to do? What do you look like? Step number four, write down your new belief. Now write down your new belief on a piece of paper. It's better to use a dedicated, dedicated journal for this so you can keep all of your affirmations together in one place and you won't lose them. And I have a journal specifically just for affirmations. Step number five, read your new belief. For best results, read your new belief at least once a day. You can add reminders to your phone so it pops up with these new affirmations throughout the day. Most phones have settings on where you can actually set notifications that pop into your phone throughout the day. And that's what I do every month and I change them every month. Step number six, speak your new belief. Read your new belief out loud at least once a day. You can either do this in the morning, in the evening, or just read it out loud when it pops into your phone if you're on your own. Step number seven, listen to your new belief. It's important for your brain to hear your new belief system with your own ears coming out of your mouth and because this engages more of your senses. The more of your senses you can engage in the process, the more powerful it is. So speaking your new belief system out loud is often the most powerful way to change your belief system. But if you can't or you don't want to speak your new belief system out loud, consider listening to a recording of some I am affirmations and you can get my I am affirmations by going to manifestbusinesssuccess.com, clicking on products and you will see my brain stamps there. Step number eight, attach music to your new belief. So music is very powerful. It's a very powerful stimulant for our emotions and it helps our brain to form new memories. Have you ever listened to some music and it's brought back so many memories? You can use this same process to attach new success memories to new belief statements. And there are two ways to use music to help introduce new belief systems into the brain. Number one, you can play some music that you like while you are saying your affirmations out loud or reading them in your head. The music shouldn't contain any singing of words so it doesn't distract you from your affirmations. And you can listen to audio tracks Num uh, step number two is you can listen to audio tracks that already contain music and I am affirmations like my brain stamps. Step number nine, reprogram the subconscious mind with your new belief system while you are sleeping. So one of the easiest ways to reprogram your subconscious mind is to listen to guided I am affirmations while you are sleeping. During sleep, your brain is the most receptive to being reprogrammed. And that doesn't mean that you can't reprogram your brain at any other time of the day, but it does make things easier if you listen to these affirmations at least some of the time while you are sleeping. I actually love to listen to these affirmations while I'm awake because it feels like I'm much more likely to remember them and be able to bring back the memory of the music with the associated affirmations and this helps my conscious mind to be able to remember these much more easily and it also does help your subconscious mind as well and it really helps me when I'm trying to manifest something because the brain stamps come into my mind at exactly the right time and step number 10 is to repeat these steps so now you've gone through all of the steps to change your belief system 
for one of your beliefs that you are struggling with, the next step is to identify more of your beliefs that you would like to transform and go through these steps again. And you can use this same process at any time that you would like to revamp your belief system. It's very powerful. So now that you know the steps, I want to take you through some common mistakes that people make when they write their own brain stamps. So now I'd like to help you to avoid these mistakes. So mistake number one is creating negative beliefs. So don't write affirmations based on what you don't want. Only write what you do want to believe. For example, don't write, I am no longer going to be able, going to be scared to do live streams. The mind often doesn't hear the no longer and it just hears scared to do live streams. So try and reframe your affirmations into a more positive language such as I have all of the confidence and support I need if I choose to do live streams. So you're not even putting any pressure on yourself. You're just saying if I wanted to, I could, I'd have everything I need. Mistake number two is speaking negatively to other people. So there's no point in going to all of the effort on working on your belief system if you're going to continue to affirm your existing belief system to your friends and family and everyone you speak to. For example, say you have a belief that you can't afford to hire a team member for your business and you want to believe that you have enough money for all of the support you need. If you keep moaning to your family saying things like, I always have to do everything myself and... I am struggling to keep my business going, then you're enhancing your existing belief system in a very powerful way. Your brain can hear you speaking those affirmative words out loud to your family and friends and it feels and it feels the emotion that you are feeling when you say it. And no doubt you've said this kind of thing so many times that this literally becomes your reality and will continue to be until you stop saying these things. And I'm I'm not saying that you should lie about your current situation and pretend things are different, but there are ways to phrase things in a much more positive way when talking to other people. So for example, you could say, I am expecting my business to go from strength to strength and I know it won't be long before I'm hiring a new team member. And you've got two statements in this sentence and you've got two I am statements in the sentence and you're not lying and you're not deceiving anyone about anything. Mistake number three is giving up too early. Another mistake that most people make is to give up too early with this process. Most people will say affirmations once and then forget all about it. And I've been there myself and what I find is that it's too easy to forget to do these kind of things unless you build them into some kind of process and routine in your life. For example, I always have a morning routine, a ritual in the morning. And during this morning routine, I have a list of things that I want to do. So I call this my success ritual because it is a routine. And within that routine, I've got a list of tasks. And listening to my brain stamps is one of the tasks that I do while I'm brushing my teeth and getting dressed. And if I didn't have my morning routine, I would forget to do this process. And it's not going to work if you just do it once. You have to get, keep going with this until you start seeing changes in your belief system and the words start coming out of your mouth when you talk to other people. And if it's working, then why stop? You might get bored of doing the process, but if you get bored of the brain stamps, just rewrite them or change them and keep the process fresh. That's why I love having music attached to my brain stamps because I love the music so much that I haven't got bored of it as yet. So you can get access to my own brain stamps if you like. Are you ready to become automatically the successful business owner that you always wanted to be in just two minutes every day? I have 10 guided I am affirmation tracks to help you develop the mindset of a seven figure entrepreneur, even if you have no time, no money, no customers and no confidence. And if you'd like to get access to my brain stamp recordings, you can go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com, click on products and there you will see my brain stamps and you can get started there. 
So now that you have learned to change your belief system, you might be finding it difficult to trust that your brain stamps are actually working and your manifestations are actually going to come true. So next time I'm going to help you work on your trust muscle so you can start to believe that your dreams really can come true for you. And this is what I'm going to be sharing next time. So make sure you subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that. Believing is step five in the process of manifestation and you can get all 10 steps in the manifestation process by signing up to my free manifest business success challenge at kathkyle.com forward slash challenge or manifest business success dot com and click on the challenge from there if you haven't already joined the challenge. Join the challenge while it is still free because I am in the process of turning this content into a book. So while you are waiting for the next step in the manifestation process, you can start taking practical action in your business today. Watch my free workshop where I walk you through my complete process of planning the business of your dreams in just 30 days. This is part of my premium course, Dream Business Blueprint, and I'm only making this workshop free for a limited time, so grab that while it's still available. Go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com to get my free workshop, How to Plan Your Dream Six-Figure Business in 30 Days. And until then, go and put your stamp on the world.